Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and today I am going to be talking about all of the, what I think have been essential in my son's process of teething. He is currently a year old. He started teething at about three months old. He got his first set of teeth. His first two bottom teeth came in at the exact same time. He was five months old or almost just about six months old when those came through. Um, he now has three on the bottom, four right up here, two molars just came through back here, and I think the bottom ones are working their way in. So I feel like I've become a little bit of a pro to an extent of how to com combat his teething and how to just keep him comfortable. Granted, I do have to say I feel like I've been completely blessed. Granted, this is my first child. I have been so blessed with how easygoing he has been through this whole process and just how um okay he's been throughout this whole process so anyway i'm just gonna jump right into what we have please excuse the mess going on behind me um i just leave his toys and everything around for him there's no point in cleaning up because as soon as he gets up from his nap he's just gonna go play with it again so i clean up before i leave anyway back to the video here so i first want to say as well this is also like a 100 percent natural remedies everything is holistic everything is natural um, there's no like medication that I use. It just wasn't the route that I wanted to take. So <clears throat> I will say off the bat, I never once used Tylenol for his teething pain and I haven't had to. So I'm just going to jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is kind of like more of the obvious stuff. Everything that they can put in their mouth um, as far as teethers. So the first thing I recommend are these teethers that have like that liquid stuff inside that you stick in the freezer or the fridge. Um, my son has always preferred the freezer. I guess he wasn't so fond of like the chewy notes. It was more of just the like, really, really cold. So I pop one of these in the freezer, let them get all cold, and then he would just suck on them like a nice pop. Um, and they seem to work wonders for the most part. It would keep him content long enough to more or less distract him from the teething pain and it probably did feel good before he had you know when these teeth in the front were coming in he could just like rub them on his gums i'm sure that felt really really good so these are really great i have a couple more of these in the freezer actually currently so a couple other teethers are these ones here that i have i got these in a pack of different like noisemakers and teethers and the good thing about these ones is like this one in particular has like the ribbed kind of texture on it that way like when he when the baby puts it in their mouth and it is just all gums it kind of like massages their gums so that's a good one this one doesn't so much have the the ribbed but it's still just like that rubbery material that just like gives them something to like gnaw on so another one i have here this is from the brand nubby and this one i honestly have mixed feelings about because it has like these it's like a double sided, it has like a different rib texture on both sides. And I will say the only thing I didn't like so much about this, because it does look so much like a pacifier, I think my son would get confused and try to suck on it more than he did try to bite on it. But because of the different rib textures, I do think if your child knew to bite on it rather than suck on it, it would work wonders for the massaging of their gums like before teeth came in. So this, this was a really good one. This is, like I said, the brand Nubby. I actually just got this at my local grocery store. So this is another one, and I don't know the name of it or the brand or anything. Um, I am going to try to find all of these items and link them down below. And I know this is called like Q something because it's in the shape of like a Q. Um, and actually, honestly, to me, it looks like a dog toy, but it's really not. It's got this piece here that they can just stick in their mouth and chew on or the whole thing is just this ribbed ring. This, for whatever reason, I don't know, my son took a liking to this right off the bat and actually still to this day, he likes to chew on this one. I don't know if it's because of the shape and the size of the ring it helps him to get like further back than just in the front here. So anything that was like growing a little further back or if his gums like further back were, were bothering him, he could get like back there with this and chew. Um, like I said, I'll link this below because I don't for the life of me remember what it was called. And I also got this at my local grocery store as well in the baby aisle. But this he really took a liking to. Okay, so the next couple products I'm going to show together just because they're kind of similar in a sense. So we have this Nubby again. Nubby is a great brand for teething, I feel. This Nubby brand teething ring. It has the different ribbed edges all around it. But then it also has like these little bunny ears here with that like paper kind of thing going on and then that's actually that's actually why I want to show this at the same time I have this little guy here this is from Target and it's that paper material and it has the little rib things as his feet as well 
I think the great thing about these is that they have the ribbed like rubber chewing things as well as the paper. And I think for whatever reason, I think that paper is, it's more of like a distraction method. So like when they're playing with it or chewing on it even like, cause I know my son likes to chew on everything still. So he would chew on the actual material with the paper in it. And I think that causes more of a distraction and does help to relieve the pain in the sense that they're not paying as much attention to it. So. These were really great as well. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is, I feel like everything is Nubby brand. I don't know how everything is Nubby brand, I really don't. It's not like my favorite go-to brand or whatever, they just just so happen to all be Nubby brand, um, is one of these mesh teething things. Like I said, this is the brand Nubby. And I used this for a short period of time and I haven't used it since, and actually only because it makes an absolute mess. Um, you can put anything in this little mesh bag here and they can just chew on it. The couple things that I did was, I used frozen berries, which he loved, but made an absolute disaster and stained a lot of clothes. And another thing I did, which actually wasn't as messy, it was sticky, but you couldn't really see the mess, um, was I had baby yogurt and I made little dots on like a paper plate with like a, what is it called? The um, parchment paper, like on the plate. And I put the yogurt in just like a sandwich bag and cut the corner off and I made little dots around on the parchment paper and froze them. And then I stuck a bunch in here and let him chew and that worked wonders as well as it was delicious. So of course they just like kept going at it. Again, also kind of like a distraction. The cold feels great, but I'm sure like having something yummy and just being able to chew on something that was cold was a nice distraction um, from the teething pain. So the next thing I have is gonna be a little controversial. I know it. But I'm just gonna throw it out there. One of these bad boys, a pacifier, yes. And I wanna first say that this is the MAM brand, which was was and is still the only brand that my son will take to. And it is like the orthodontic um, approved, like it doesn't uh, mess with like the formation of their jaw and their mouth or whatever, supposedly. This just honestly for us came in handy when he was in any type of discomfort. It was something just to have in his mouth and it soothed him. I mean, if you're against it, so be it. You don't have to use it. Obviously, this is just something that worked for us and I know it works for a lot of other people, even if it's not just teething pain. It definitely helps to just soothe the baby. If they are in pain, it's going to help that as well. At least it did for my son, so that's that. So the next thing I'm gonna show is one of my favorite things and we used one of these. This is a Baltic Amber teething necklace and I used this when my son first started teething at about three and a half months old, I used it. This is this one specifically is from the brand Baltic Wonder. It's um, I got it on Amazon, it was like $12, maybe even less I think, and you can choose different colors. And there's something in the Baltic Amber that is like a natural ibuprofen. It's called succinic acid, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's succinic acid is like a natural acid in the Baltic, uh, the amber beads. And what happens is when it gets warmed up on the baby's skin, this acid is released um, through their skin into their body and it's actually a natural ibuprofen. It doesn't hurt them at all. And this, I swear, worked wonders. I actually never put this around his neck because my, my boy is very chunky and you can never see his neck still to this day because his cheeks are so big. So it made me nervous to have it around his neck for fear of like choking. So I never did that. Actually what I did was I just like doubled it up and I put it around his ankle. Um, and that worked just fine. They also have anklets, not just bracelets. They have anklets as well if you wanted to go that route. But um, this was not something that he slept with. But I first thing in the morning put it on every single day. And when his first two teeth on the bottom cut through, I was in complete disbelief and shock because I, like I said, I honestly had no idea he was teething. And my husband and I both were like, wow, that must really work. Cause this for a long time was the only thing we were using besides like the little stuff he could put in his mouth. And we had no idea he was teething. I can't really say if this was it and what helped but i know this is what we used and like i said we had no idea so i would definitely recommend this if you are looking for a more natural uh remedy for teething there's so many different brands out there to get it to get one of these from not just the baltic wonder where we got it from though i will link like i said everything down below where i got it but look into it obviously do your own research and uh this is just something that did work great for us. Because I have one more product I wanna talk about, and this is probably my favorite one so far, actually. 
and we've been using this for a couple months now actually they're like a combined thing i have here so first of all they we have this um it's just called baby banana this was on the floor so it's like covered in lint and everything but it's called the baby banana and it has this like brush on the front and these little, little peels are like handles and this he just loved to like he literally held it like this and would just chew on it and i think the bristles the little rubber bristles probably felt so good he can get way back in the back he can stay right up front if he wanted to and the whole thing is a rubber material there's also these little ribs like on the end of it here as well that they could put the other end in their mouth and probably get some satisfaction from but i got this in conjunction with this i had heard this from a youtube mom and because i like to go the more holistic route for everything i was really really interested so this is called pumpkin butt teething oil it's an all natural relief with all essential oils the oils consist of sunflower oil chamomile oil clove oil and peppermint oil and it says on here it's all certified organic ingredients packaged in a bpa free plastic and it gives you like an instruction how to use this wash your hands put on your fingertip or a cotton applicator and apply to the gums as needed all i did honestly was i took the end of this i stuck it in there and just gave it to him and let him chew on it um some nights when it was a little worse than others i would i would just use a finger and rub um, let him like chew down on my finger a little bit and um like i said some nights were worse than others so there were times like where i felt that like i needed an abundance of the product which it doesn't hurt them so I wasn't really too concerned about it, but I still to this day use it. Actually, he's been teething pretty bad because his molars are coming in and I've been using this religiously and it's very inexpensive as well. Um, and it just has been working for us. This to me smells like black licorice and I was like, ugh, immediately when I first smelled it, I'm like he's gonna hate this. And he actually, he loves it. He gives no problems when this is being put in his mouth and it doesn't bother him whatsoever. So that's pretty much it guys. That's everything that we have done so far for our son teething. This is our first rodeo. I'm sure there's other things we could try and things that I haven't been introduced to that would help just as well, if not better, who knows? Um, like I said, I'm still learning as I go here, but these are definitely all the products that I truly recommend. I do also want to disclaim that I am obviously not a licensed physician. So obviously speak to your pediatrician before using any of these products. If you feel more comfortable doing that, this is just what we've used and stuff that has worked for us thus far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to see more and you can also hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. If you want to be notified every time I do make a video, you'll never miss one if you hit that bell. I hope you guys have a great day, night, afternoon, wherever you are, whatever time it is. And thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.